is African cinema? Unknown to many, African cinema has been around for quite a bit and is now currently the second largest producer of films, overtaking Hollywood and closing in on Bollywood. African cinema reflects being African through the showing of African conditions. It is also defined through its power to persuade its audience. To understand an African film, you have to relate the dynamics of culture to when it was produced. Each film is heavily influenced by the current conditions of the time when it was made. For example, during the 1960s, when the decolonization of Africa had just begun, La Noir De was released on 1966 by the father of African cinema, Usman Sembe. It follows the story of Diuna, a young woman who has been hired by her former masters to work as a maid in France. The film shows the effects of the beginning of the decolonization of Africa. Some parts of Africa, including Senegal, where this film was made, had received their independence in the 1960s but struggled to balance political freedom and financial independence. Though technically independent, this film shows how Africans are still treated with disrespect, not taking into account that they are humans too. As more countries gain their independence, the easier it is for Africans to win back their respect. The same pattern follows as in the 1990s, when Samba Traoye by Ijisa Udrago was released in 1992. The movie follows a man named Samba who had stolen money from a gas station in the city. He brings this money back to his rural village and consequently brings changes to it by gifting the village cattle, building a house, and a bar. During this time, Africa had settled into independence and was now going through globalization. The changes brought about by Samba represents the real-world changes that Africa was going through during this time. From a traditional society to an urbanized one. These days, films that are made generally take on topics that range from serious issues such as terrorism or domestic violence to Nollywood films that talk about love, wealth, and familial struggles. Eerily similar to many of the mainstream dramas in Hollywood, showing the common, everyday problems of the current generation brought about by globalization. Bottom line, African cinema is... I really wanted to depict the stories of people I know because obviously when you look at media, um, you realize that media on Africa in particular, um, it does not depict the Africa I know, the Africa I grew up in and I wanted to tell that story and that's what got me into cinema, you know, into filmmaking.